What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. After a very long wait, we finally have 2022 Panini Honors Football. This drops every two years. The last time was 2020. Absolutely incredible product. Now these videos cost a ton. Very, very expensive. So if you guys like these, want to see more, like the video, subscribe, helps do more content and also sign up for a membership. Links down below. You can get some bonus videos and then once again, helps us do the videos we do here, the giveaways, things like that. Now the Whatnot Card Show is coming up and I'll actually be a vendor there for the first time. So if you guys are interested, we'll have singles, we'll have boxes, packs, things like that, and some giveaways as well. Deals for sure. Use my link to sign up and get $10 using the app and credit. We'll have some stuff for that price, so you can pretty much get free stuff. And then make sure you bookmark that stream, follow me on there, and tune in on the 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern is when I'll be going live. We'll have a long show with a lot of good stuff for you guys, something for everyone, really. So make sure you check it out. And that being said, here's information for this product. Let's start this review. The information starts with the price, $800 to $1,000 for hobby, and then first off the lines double around 2K range. The bonuses are very good though, so one of the better first off the lines, and not one of the best first off the lines. Now, this is one that could go up in price. All the previous years have, although if prices keep going down, that could be affected by that as well. But a lot less made is online exclusive and every two years it drops once again. 2020 was absolutely incredible. In every box, you're getting four cards, one two card pack, and then two encased autographs. Look for two autos, one recollection, which I'll explain in a second. One autograph, one base, and one parallel in every box. First off the line has one one of one recollection autograph and then an autograph to 15 or less. One base purple to 12 and then one base parallel. So parallels include, here is the back. There are several here. So look for base 99, red to 10, gold to five, black one of ones. There's a few different base sets. And autographs where it gets very, very interesting. So on card, hand numbered recollection autos from previous sets. So think about the extra copies of a Josh Allen contenders autograph, something like that. If there's leftovers, they could hand number it one of one and put it in here. Kind of like white boxes, but they use a lot of the cooler cards in my opinion. So there we go. And I do like the hand numbering a lot more. So look for those. There are graded and non-graded originals, like a Mahomes rookie autograph graded nine by PSA, I think it is. That's one I saw. There's a bunch of others. Look for base, rookie, and vet autos. Very strong checklist. Purdy is in here. And I look for names like Brady, Mahomes, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, and Lamar rookies, and then Burrow and Herbert. So lots of 2017-18 rookies. Those leftover copies get put in here. So I think I saw a Deshaun Watson one of one gold prism. Uh, let's see, there was two Josh Allens. One was a gold vinyl, one was a gold Radio Rookie autograph. So really, really big stuff. And you're chasing like three, four, five different classes worth of rookies. So those are some of the big cards you can chase and others like it. I'm hoping there's a gold Josh Allen. Once again, those are kind of like white boxes. So cool looking, but still kind of like white boxes. So it depends on how you guys think about those. But in my opinion, cool cards, cool card. And these are very, very cool cards. So 2020, hopefully it lived up to billing there. It was one of the best products we ever ripped, not the best. So... That being said, let's get into our box and let's see what we got from this one here. So I'll get my little cutter and let's see how it's going to go. So here we are. Let's see what is in this one. I'll cut it like this. Absolutely love this product. I've been waiting a very long time. I always have good things to say about it. That being said, you could hit, you could miss like any product, but I don't want to always be chasing those cards from Flawless, NT, 17 prism because obviously those boxes are extremely expensive. So I'm very happy just as a collector to get a version of those cards from here. So the first two cards are exposed. I'm going to move them to the side and pull out our pack first, which is right here. And then we will see our autograph. So this is the base pack, which can be very nice. So here we go. 2022 honors. It's time. Long have we waited. Here we go. So Get the pack open and let's see our cards. Card number one. It is. Let's see if it's upside down or not. It is. Justin Fields. There we go. 299. All the bases numbered. The stock feels very premium. So if you guys like these videos, once again, like the video, subscribe. Helps us do these reviews. They're very expensive. These first off the line boxes, but I like to review them for you guys. So there's our first card. And there we go. So I like it. Very, very uh, premium feeling base card. Not like Prism. It's Chrome, but not like Prism Optic. Feels a little more premium. And here's our other card to 12, I believe this is. It is. And all right. Maybe that was my bad. I don't know. Tua. One of 12. Very nice. As a little uh, eBay one of one. Yes, sir. So there we go. That's our base pack. Nothing actually crazy. That's probably one of the worst base packs I've seen yet. And uh, that being said, still... Some nice stuff there. So there we go. Two out of 12. And that is the pack there. All right. Next one up. 
Let's see our first autograph. This card, three of four. Let's see who we got. All right. So once again, I'll be doing breaks with the hobby version of this on Pac-Man Breaks. My website's linked down below if you want to join into those. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here's our autograph. Garrett Wilson to 15. Very nice. 7 of 15. I'll definitely take that. I want to save all the mojo for this autograph, though, because that is... That's where you get the nutty stuff, the crazy, crazy cards. Like, grail level cards could be in here from 18, 17, 2022. So, that's a nice card. I'll definitely take that. That's what they look like. These are stickers, so the classes like Burrow and Herbert, those guys, they have sticker autos like this. I don't believe they have many on that checklist, but there's a lot of massive names, Hall of Famers, stars in this set, the recollection one. So I'll put that right here and let's see our final card. Here we go. Wish us luck. Once again, you guys like these videos. They are very, very expensive. Let me know. Like and sub and uh, we'll do a lot more like it. And here we go. It's a thicker card. The card I'm hoping for, which we don't have here, is a gold prism. I don't know if it exists, but a gold prism Josh Allen 101. You guys know why that card, but hey, it may exist. I saw Mahomes. I saw a uh, Sean Watson. So here's our card. Should be a one of one. It is. It's a nice one, but this actually, with all due respect, actually might be one of the worst ones I've seen yet. The Garrett Wilson's nice, and a Curtis Martin from Flawless Hall of Fame is beautiful card. One of one right there. I've seen a few cases opened, and this is a probably bottom percentage card because I've seen some nutty stuff so far once again. So I'll definitely take that. That's nice. I'll be ripping some more of this for sure, but comment your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about honors? So a white box, you see that little stamp on there, and the one of one will have the sticker on the back, and then these ones have the one of one or the you know, two of five, the 10 of 25, written like that. So really cool cards. So flawless prism, 17 prism, 18 prism, stuff like that is in this product and you can get them. We had a below average box, unfortunately. That being said though, we got some very nice cards, but for this product, that is a below average box, I'd say, and still really, really cool cards. So love these three a lot, love these four a lot. And that's just the way the product works. I've seen some really, really big stuff. I would definitely say that's probably one of the worst boxes that I've seen yet. So there we go. We'll open some more for sure. Should we do a case? Do you guys want to see a case of this product? If so, we can do it. I'm probably going to do one as it is already. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know. And I'll post it on here, a whole case of honors, because I've been waiting a long time for this one. But my thoughts on this product. So this is first off the line. I'll probably try to still do hobby. I rated, I think, a 9.5 once again in 2020. And it was half the price then. That's when people are still not really sure what honors was. Now that everyone knows that this product is what it is, it's now a lot more expensive. But I'll say I'll give this product an... 8 out of 10 an 8 i'd love to go 8.5 but the price is just a lot more expensive and last year's or two years ago was one of the best classes of all time at the same time so i'll give it that rating for now we'll see what we see from a more uh i guess large sample size but so far i love it got four amazing cards and i mean no disrespect to these guys when i say this is one of the worst boxes i've seen it is but that just goes to show how good this product is so there you go. What do you guys think? Comment your thoughts down below. Honors, is it something you like, don't like? Do you think it's average? Overall, I think it's one of my favorite sets to open just period. So can't wait to open some more and we'll definitely be doing that. So that does it for this review, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you later.